Most guys assume that to get juicy 3D shoulders, you need to take injectable Flintstone vitamins. Now, with an understanding of basic shoulder anatomy and the world's best science-backed shoulder workout routine, which you are about to see, that will sculpt and grow every single muscle fiber in all three heads of the deltoid muscle, you can grow bodacious boulder shoulders, or as I like to call them, juicy 3D deltoids. Now, the reason that Flintstone vitamin users get the 3D deltoid look easier has to do with more concentrated androgen receptors in the deltoids. So when you pop your Flintstone vitamins, it's one of the fastest reacting muscles. Now, I myself am against injectable Flintstone vitamins as I prefer my hair on fleek and truly do enjoy the benefits of my dick working on a Friday night as well as having healthy internal organs. Good news for you watching this video as we are going to break down the science-backed best 3D shoulder workout it's going to grow all three heads of the deltoid and you can expect to see a pretty drastic difference in your deltoid development from this workout in as little as one month. First of all, it's important that we understand the deltoid muscle has three sets of distinct muscle fibers and this workout will maximize the muscular activation of each deltoid muscle fiber head. So first, let me introduce you to my three homies. Now, I thought to myself, why in the world would the shoulder have three different muscles? That must mean that there is a different function for each shoulder head. Now, I did some research and consulted the only man who would have known the true answer to this, Bill Nye, the anabolic science guy. After a lengthy talk with Bill Nye at TGI Fridays, I found out that Bill Nye enjoys mozzarella sticks and that yes, there are three unique functions that each shoulder head is responsible for. Having an understanding of this, we will be able to use our peanut-like bodybuilder brains and reverse engineer the most effective exercises that will maximize the activation of each deltoid head. So the three main functions of the shoulder, first of all, the front head of the shoulder, the anterior deltoid, is responsible for shoulder flexion, basically lifting things up and putting them down while raising your hands straight in front of your body. Next up, we have the meaty side head of the shoulder, the lateral deltoid. This is responsible for shoulder abduction, such as lifting things up and putting them down while raising your arms straight up from the side, similar to like you would do in a lateral raise. And then last but not least, we have that back rear deltoid head responsible for horizontal shoulder abduction, basically responsible for spreading your arms apart horizontally and you will activate the rear deltoid head. Now, it is important to understand that the shoulders are a combination of type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers, actually pretty close to a 50% split. Now, what the hell does this mean? This means that we will do a combination of high reps and low reps throughout these movements. Where will we emphasize all of the shoulder activity? Well, believe it or not, most bodybuilders do not have well-developed 3D deltoids. Sure, you see the guys in Mr. Olympia, but for the majority of guys that consider themselves amateur bodybuilders, it was shown that the front deltoid has five times the development compared to most guys, which is obviously a lot. Now, the side deltoid only had three times the development compared to most guys, and the rear deltoid only had 10 to 15 percent more size than guys who basically don't lift. So this workout will make 100% sure that we maximize the side deltoid and rear deltoid muscular development and hit the three main core principles of muscle growth. Now, there have been documented to be three main mechanisms of muscle growth. This is actually documented in a fancy research study from the Journal of Some Muscle Building Institute, and we know that mechanical tension, muscle damage, and metabolic stress are the three main ways we build muscle. Since we know the deltoids are 50% slow twitch and 50% fast twitch, we will be applying all three of these throughout this incredible workout. So this science-backed shoulder workout will hit all three with every single deltoid head, anterior, posterior, and lateral, which will translate into juicy, 3D deltoids without the Flintstone vitamins. So let's get into the best science back shoulder workout. The first exercise is a standing overhead press. Now this is going to emphasize the lateral and anterior deltoid and it is an effective mass builder. Now heavy overload stimulus from a compound movement 
should begin your deltoid workouts. And by doing these movements that allow us to press the most weight, we can maximize the first principle of hypertrophy mechanical overload. Now combining heavy lifts in the six to 10 rep range with occasional sets where you focus on going down slow and controlled for a count of three seconds, you can maximize two of the three main components of hypertrophy, muscle damage and mechanical overload. As muscle damage simply means going down slow on the eccentric portion of the repetition, which creates more muscular damage and healthy micro tears. Since I want to give you guys the exact workout to follow, perform three sets of the standing overhead press in the six to 10 rep range, focusing on progressive overload and getting five pounds stronger each workout. Your final set, I want you to focus on going down to a count of three seconds to maximize the muscle damage component for a total of 10 reps. The second exercise is the last mass builder. Now it was actually shown that the dumbbell press creates the most EMG activity right on the lateral deltoid and the anterior deltoid. So this is a lateral and anterior deltoid mass builder and I want you guys to have a progressive overload mindset on this. Tracking their lifts each week on the dumbbell shoulder press and the standing overhead press are gonna be really important for your deltoid development. So I want you guys to strive to improve by two to three reps or five pounds for each workout. You're going to be doing four total sets in the eight to 12 repetition range and just stay within that rep range. Don't overthink it and continue to try to lift heavier and add reps each and every single workout. The next exercise is an incredible way to add more overload and focus on the mechanical overload function of muscle growth. And this is the seated overload lat raise. Now adding a mass builder on the lateral deltoid head and focusing on mechanical overload with both an overhead pressing and lateral raising movement is extremely beneficial for 3D deltoid development. And it's no surprise that I first learned this exercise from a Phil Heath shoulder workout video. Flintstone vitamins or not, he's a great bodybuilder and no doubt knows a thing or two about overloading the deltoids. So for the seated overload lat raise, I want you guys to go three total sets, eight to 12 total reps per set, and rest time is about 75 seconds. So as you can see, I'm starting and I'm using a little bit of momentum, but this allows me to put more overload directly on the lateral deltoid. Next up, we are attacking the lateral deltoid from a metabolic stress angle because we have added a ton of mechanical overload right on the deltoids. So this means higher reps and a more concentrated approach on mind-muscle connection. So with the standing lat raise, I really want you to focus on not resting at the top or the bottom of the movement and going really high repetition. Remember, this is the best science-backed shoulder workout. We've already gone heavy. We've already put a lot of overload. Now it's time to focus on metabolic stress and there is no better exercise to really blast the lateral deltoid head with metabolic stress than the standing lat raise. So I want you guys to do four total sets and go actually in the 15 to 20 rep range on this. Really go high rep and focus on the squeeze and the burn. Another great exercise that I want you guys to add in your arsenal is the cable lat raise. Now why we're doing two variations is the cable lat raise really allows us to focus on going down slow and controlled and keeping the muscle under tension the entire time since we're from a more stable position as it's on the cable machine. It's no secret that a lot of pro bodybuilders will use cables and different machines to shape smaller muscles like the lateral deltoid because you're able to focus on metabolic stress and maximizing the time under tension right on the lateral deltoid head. So I recommend throwing this into your routine right after your shoulders are really fatigued from the standing dumbbell lat raises. Jump on and go three total sets on each arm so you really are not resting at all because when you're done doing the left arm, you do the right arm and vice versa. Three total sets right around 15 repetitions and very short rest time. Compound movements for the shoulders like overhead press elicit almost zero rear deltoid activation. Now, to maximize muscle fiber recruitment in the rear deltoids, we need to tackle them from a maximum metabolic stress angle, as lifting heavy weight with the rear delts will cause too many other muscle groups to get involved. Rear delt 21s on the reverse fly, are gonna be the most effective way that I have seen to maximize time under tension on the rear deltoids. So I want you guys to start off on the reverse pec fly machine, do seven full range of motion reps. Then if you guys can see me and catch what I'm doing here, after I'm doing seven full range of motion reps, I'm doing seven half reps where I'm stopping at the midway point of going down and then I'm squeezing and activating my rear deltoids back on the way up. 
seven full reps like that, and then the last seven reps, you're starting from almost the starting position, and you're squeezing the deltoids, and you're stopping at the halfway point. So think of it like a half repetition when your uh, rear delts are already really fatigued. So I recommend you guys do three total sets of rear delt fly 21s. Focus on mind-muscle connection. Uh, don't let the rear delts rest at all at the top or bottom of the movement, and you guys are going to get some great 3D deltoids. Now, if you do not have access to the rear deltoid or rear fly machine, what you could do is you could use the cable and do standing cable rear delt flies, or you could mimic the exact same motion standing or seated with dumbbells. Now, check out my other shoulder workout videos as I show you guys a few awesome variations to do the rear delt movements that I don't talk about in this video, so I will link to that, but there are many other ways to hit the rear delts. I just find that I have the maximum amount of rear delt activation and I maximize the metabolic stress function of muscle growth by doing the rear delt 21s. Now, because I recently got my bachelor's degree from the No Basic Shit University and want to make my NBSU alumni proud, I've created a way to end my deltoid workouts with what I think has been greatly responsible for my trap and shoulder development and will annihilate every single muscle fiber in your deltoid. So what you're going to do Pick any dumbbell shaper that you want, and this can you can do this on the rear deltoids, the lateral deltoids, the anterior deltoids. This is kind of a dumbbell upright row movement that I'm showing you here off and on that I really enjoy doing and I feel a great shoulder pump on. So change it up, pick one or two different shoulder shapers with dumbbells, pre-fatigue the shoulders, and then I want you to walk around your gym and tense and squeeze the shoulders as you carry really heavy weight with gloves and straps. Um, you don't need gloves, but you do need straps because what you want to do is you want to tense the shoulders, carry as heavy weight as possible, and it's basically going to create more time under tension and metabolic stress right on the pre-fatigued deltoid muscle. So as you can see, I'm tensing and I'm really trying to flex my shoulders as I carry the heavy weight. And the reason why we're using straps is because your grip and your forearm strength will fail before your deltoids do. So I want to just maximize all of the overload on my shoulders and on my deltoids. So what we're going to do is we're just going to walk around the gym, uh, pre-fatigue our muscles. I want you guys to end your shoulder workout with three total sets of this. So 10 to 15 reps of a pre-fatigue movement and then 30 seconds time under tension on the dumbbell shoulder emphasized farmer's walk. Now, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell if you have not already. And if you haven't tried the Superhuman pre-workout, I will link to it in the description below. Myself and my team at Alphaline personally created it to be the world's most maximum dose pre-workout. It also stacks great with our nighttime recovery supplement called Alpha Dreams. Together, you have the action figure aesthetic stack. So... If you're interested and you're already investing money into supplements, I'm not saying they're miracle pills, but supplements do help you. And I think the two most important supplements are a pre-workout supplement that maximizes your workout intensity and a nighttime recovery supplement that helps you sleep and replenish crucial electrolytes, minerals, and antioxidants. So if you guys are interested in that, check the description below. I'm also going to link to several other training videos I think you guys would really enjoy. Thank you so much for all the support. I will have the science of chest training video next.